So CLT, what it is, in effect, is sort of like a mega plywood, uh, as, as some people would say. What you use is an ordinary dimensional lumber, things like 2 by 4 pine, uh, so nothing, nothing exotic. And what you do is you essentially lay them side by side with all grains running in one direction. They put down a layer of glue and then another ply of 2 by 4s Each time they put down a ply of 2 by 4 they alternate the lamination direction, the direction of the boards. And that's where you get the name cross-laminated timber. Mm-hmm. So in doing that, it, it serves a few very important uh, functions. But one of the most important functions is that it's sort of self-restraining for moisture effects. So unlike your doors and, and other pieces of, of wood that uh, kind of cycle, they shrink and swell uh, in the seasons, cross-laminated timber doesn't shrink and swell in plan. So you can construct large floor plates, um, which are dimensionally stable, which is very important. There's a lot of, there's a lot of excitement about how tall you can go. Um, and in our report, it just so happened that our benchmark building was 42 stories tall. But the objective is really to show that it can work for a tall building that, that covers a high percentage of available buildings. So there's, there's nothing magic about 42. It's not the limit of where you could go in timber, but it just matched our prototypical building. And it just so happens that, you know, at, at the 40-story range, you can cover, I'll say, 99% of all buildings in, in, in North America.